I'm so tap tap, and it's the crimbiest season of the year. Crimbus season. So, there is a new Christmas event in Abyssrium. It'll probably be up for a little over a month, the tank events usually are. Um, note that the Greek event is still on. Uh, so I'm a little bit late to getting this going here, but uh, I got a... I got a new TV and new TV stand. My living room is all discombobulated. In fact, there's crap all over my desk right now as I record this. My computer's not really ready to be used yet, again, but um, I'll, I'll make do here. So, the event is, um, uh, w w one quick note, um, I'm, I'm back to disabling comments on the Abyssrium videos because uh, people just don't watch the videos and just ask questions instead. And I know they're doing that because they ask questions that are answered within the first one minute, so... I, I'm sorry, it just kills my faith in humanity. And I have so very little of that left that I figure I should just... <laughs> I should just cut it down. Uh, if you have questions, check out the written guide. Anything that is actually confusing in the video, I will correct in the written guide. I can't really go back and correct a video, so... Um, what's that guide I'm talking about? Let's get that on screen right now, like I usually do. So, highly recommend you go to sirtaptap.com. It's currently the first article that'll pop up. Tap Tap Fish um, Christmas Event Guide. So, I'm just going to leave up the written descriptions from the guide here on the old um, bottom of the screen here. And we're just going to go right to the hidden fish. Scroll up a little bit. So, let's just get right down to work. There's um, the biggest thing to note. To even start in the 2019 fish, you need to complete everything, everything from the 2018 fish. That's all of this crap that you see here. Um, need to have, uh, basically what you need is this rider killing whale. Um, you need to cast the crab 200 times to get that. Um, you can't even get started. Oh, the game audio is off, sorry about that. Um, you can't even get started without this boy, which is why I haven't gotten started myself. Um, it's a pain in the butt. There is a guide. Um, there's a written guide and a video guide for last year. Check those out. They'll be in the description. So, from this point on, assuming you have done this, unlocked writing killer whale and all this other crap. So, let's go into manage fish and check out only the new fish. The toy tang needs level 5000 snow globe tower. Not a problem. Um, and you need to complete the Santa Sea Dragon challenge quest here. So... They're gonna make us bounce back and forth, huh? So to do that, you need to buy... Wait, no, to do that, sorry, excuse me, you need to, um... That's the 2018 thing, I see I'm getting... <laughs> the, I really don't like the tank events. The, they're a neat idea, but... It just ends up a mess. It's just a mess. And it's so little added each year, it, it, it doesn't feel like a new event. It's just a couple extra fish. Ugh, I, I don't like them. Anyway, Toy Tang, um, you just need to complete the Santa Sea Dragon, which is already, you should have already done. You need the, um, the riding, um, killer whale to do that, as I said earlier. Oops, I'm clicking the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm, my, my whole setup is messed up right now, but that's another story. Toy Bathinomus, that's, um, giant isopod. Possibly a regular isopod, but it's an isopod of some manner. Anyway. Um, you need level 5,200 snow globe tower. Again, that's the building. That's not a big deal. Buy five toy tangs. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. All, all of these are really quite easy, except for the fact that you will need to upgrade everything in the tank. Um, you'll need to upgrade the stupid um, crab skill, most importantly. So you'll need to have a few thousand gems on hand to actually upgrade the crab enough. That's really the only thing. Um, that and the 2018 events. The 2018 events, super slow. Um, the 2019 ones, if you have enough gems and everything, you can complete this within a few hours, actually. There is no time gating or anything, so that's nice. Um, so for this one, you need to share a picture of toy, the toy isopod with the Abysmus Christmas card. And you need to own 200 fish in the Christmas event tank. So... Does it show a fish count somewhere? I just keep buying things and you'll unlock it. Um, so, to do the Abysmus card, what you need to do, 
Go to camera mode. Click the little, there you go. And then you use the abysmus one. These were a fun little feature they had, um, what, I think 2017 introduced those? It was a cute little added thing. So, yellow light bulb fish. I don't think these should have been three separate fish, but oh well. By level 21 hermit crab skill, again, um, that's kind of just getting started. You need to go up to 30. So, if you're wanting to complete the event, it really it would be best to just complete the hermit crab as fast as possible, because that'll speed up everything else as well. Level 5,800 snow globe tower is also required. That, again, will not be a problem. But hold on there, past tap tap. Did you know that you can go to patreon.com slash your tap tap and support my writing and videos for as little as one buck a month? And you get a bunch of stupid perks too. It's great. Wow, I didn't know that future tap tap. D do you got any like lottery numbers or anything for me? Oh, no, no, he's gone. But you can check out my Patreon. It really helps, even just a buck a month. Helps you make stuff, and uh, there's a lot of cool perks. Check it out. There'll be a link in the description of every video I do. Green light bulb fish. Need to tap bubbles from the yellow. Oops, getting a little too far here. Tap bubbles from the yellow and/or red light bulb fish 100 times, um, and own five toy isopods. And since I don't know how people like function without knowing this, but the bubbles of when it says tap the bubbles, these, these are the bubbles. They're the, um, bubbles. I just, I don't know how to be more clear than that, but I get about a dozen or so questions every year. What do you mean whale bubbles? I don't know what I mean, buddy. I just don't know. Toy football fish, level 7,300 snow globe tower required. Three light bulb fish in the saltwater tank. Um, those unlocks are always super buggy. If it doesn't seem to work, buy one more of that fish, then try it again in the saltwater tank, and it usually goes. Um, they particularly have problems with that when it's like an older fish, though. This game's buggy as crap, as always. Um, and you need to own 30 different football fish in the Christmas tank. That's anything with football fish in the name. So... Toy seahorse. I will say the designs this event not really feeling them. I did a, I was doing a whole review last year. I just, I just don't get too excited for these ones. The, the toys, they just, eh, eh. they just don't take up my fancy. This one's all right. I, the TC, the toy seahorse is all right. I'll give him the all right seal of all rightness. Uh, level 8,000 snow globe tower. Again, that's just upgrading your tower. You're just going to be doing that anyway. Share one picture of toy football fish with not grab her dreams card. Own 30 seahorses. So again, all of these unlocks, very basic, pretty quick. Um, very boring, frankly. Um, but I, I kind of miss more exotic unlocks. Just not so, you know, time-gated and crap. Glass jellyfish is really cool. Uh, that's probably my favorite jelly. The jellies are always really good, though. It's really hard to pick a favorite jelly. There's really never been a genuinely bad jellyfish that I can recall. And that one, this is a pretty good one. So you need to own level 300 gingerbread slide. That's one of the buildings. Um, and you need to own 250 fish in the Christmas tank. Um, general Christmas tank thing, upgrade everything as soon as it's possible. There's never a time when you would want to save up vitality or anything. You just immediately buy everything because everything speeds up everything else. So if I have... If I can level up the thing, level up the thing immediately, you're always gonna need to do that. If I can buy a fish, always buy a fish. You're gonna get so many extra fish, you're gonna be able to buy, you know, just so many extra fish, it will not matter. So just buy things as soon as you can, seriously. You kind of spread out your purchases evenly, so you just, you, so you have a variety, but just buy everything, really. Toy Orfish is really kind of pushing it. I don't dislike its design, but to call it an Orfish seems like a pretty Olympic stretch. Um, anyway, to unlock that bad boy, level 300 Ginger Slide, use Miracle of Christmas 
Um, use the Hermit Crab skill 200 times. I have no idea why that's an unlock, because you already have to have done that to get the very first fish in this event. It's just a completely repeated unlock. Then you need to activate three boosters at the same time. These seem to be buggy. Um, I, I don't know if there's a bug in the game, you really have to tell the developers, not me. Um, I don't really keep track of bugs in the game anymore because there's hundreds. There's just no way I could possibly do it. Um, if there's a bug, please tell the developers, not me. Um, they do use Facebook again, finally, so message their Facebook, ideally. Um, I'm not sure if they read their emails or not. In the past, they kind of were a lot better to get on Facebook. But anyway, that, that's these three skills. Um, you can use, you should be able to use just the free trial, so... Once a day you can get a free trial, so just activate all three of these from a free trial. That should get you done. I uh, also, just let me whinge, um... I hate how they sort the tank fish, because it doesn't make any sense. Like, oh, they're trying to group small fish with a small fish and blah blah blah, but... But no, group the new, group them in order of difficulty. Group them in order I'm gonna unlock them. This... This doesn't make any sense. Uh, uh, what's the next new one? This boy. Wreath Turtle? I, I'm alright with it. He's on fire, but he's underwater, so... He'll probably be fine. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be fine. Just don't eat those holly berries, they're poisonous. Did you know that? They're not usually real holly berries anyway. But, um, yeah. Poison. Um... Wreath Turtle, level 300, 3,500 gingerbread slide. Again, very boring unlocks this year, very simple. Um, people on Reddit figured this out within, I think like 12 hours. Um, no data mining required even. Uh, place three toy ore fish in saltwater tank. Take one photo of the gingerbread slide. Since people always get incredibly confused and I don't know why. Um, oh wait, I don't even have the gingerbread slide, do I? It's the building that's, like, shown here that says Gingerbread Slide. People always can't find the buildings. I, I'm, I'm baffled. <laughs> I, I really am. Toy Catfish is... Okay. I... He's got a wing through his, like, organs, but, you know, he'll be fine. Level 4,500 Gingerbread Slide. Boring. We'll share one picture of Christmas Wreath Turtle with the Christmas Plaza card. Um, you'll note that almost all of these kind of need to be completed in order. Um, so really just go down the list in this case. Some you can kind of get out of order depending on your upgrades, but really just go down the list. It's, it'll make it easier. Um, own five wreath turtles, of course. Just own five of everything. That's kind of the trick. Just own five of everything. Okay, the stuffed toy ray is really good. Not a fan in general of this events, the new 2019 fish's design. The stuffed toy ray. Look at that. Come on. That's awesome. That's adorable. So, to get that bad boy, level 6,500 gingerbread slide. Tap bubbles from a ray, any ray in the Christmas tank, 1,000 or er, 100 times. Uh, take one photo of a gingerbread ray with that Christmas meteor shower skill active. So again, you can get a free trial of that once per day, so just do that to get your unlock. Mew! Hi, Parker. That's right! That's right! Wooden shark? Not so much festive as... terrifying, I would say? Uh, I mean, imagine seeing this bad boy swimming towards you. <laughs> That's... That's the nightmare right there. Did they have to put the nails in it? I really think the nails push it over from being like, oh, like it's one of those wooden snake toys that are like flexible to like, oh my god, it's gonna eat my family. And it's gonna like eat them like very bluntly, because like wood is not very, well, it can be sharp, but anyway. 9,000 gingerbread slide, own 10 toy sharks, place five stuffed toy rays in the saltwater tank. Again, there's like, four different unlocks now. They're really getting lazy with the unlocks. Uh, I'm really hoping a Mysterium pull, which got pushed back by the way. We basically don't have a real unlock date for that. I love sun... <laughs> Looking at sunfish head on always cracks me up. But yeah, Mysterium pull didn't have a real release date. Apple just makes them put one up even if it's BS. So yeah, we have no idea when that's coming out. Anyway, someone stuffed this poor... <laughs> If a sunfish wore a sweater, would it wear it like this or like this? Anyway, 
Level 3000 Santa's house. That's another one of the buildings. Share one photo of the snowflake sunfish with the silent night card. Oh, um, to unlock the buildings, you have to do the events just like every other tank event. I'll get to the quest um, at the end of the hidden fish. So. The, the stuffed toy beluga, I, I don't feel it at all. It's just a regular beluga and they tape the little stuffing lines on it. The ray was so much better. The ray was really good. It has the baby going on, but like, eh, eh, eh. Anyway, by level, this is the one that requires the level 300 hermit crab. That's like, that's several thousand gems, unfortunately. You do get back several thousand from the events, from the quest, um, but not quite enough to cover costs. So ideally you should have a few thousand gems going into this. Um, and if you don't have them, well, complete, um, there's some achievements you can complete in the main tank, but otherwise you're kind of screwed. This is kind of why I stopped doing the events myself, by the way, so yeah. Um, take a photo of Christmas Town Turtle with Christmas Meteor Shower skill active. Again, very basic, all of these are very basic. Um, buy five stuffed toy rays. In fact, honestly, with the way they're doing unlocks every, these days, you just buy five of everything, um, take photos of everything and you know take photos of everything with the skills active and just level things up and you you just get everything basically not really much to it no that was that one oh that's this is the fish that made me i i stopped playing this game i stopped completing events because of this fish um i was like wow this sucks and i hate it and then i stopped <laughs> i i'd never completed an event ever again so thanks riding killer whale I hope there's a digital hell that you will be sent to. Assortment gift whale. I like that smug face he's got going on. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm flannel, dude. Yeah. That is the smuggest whale I've ever seen. Um, I kind of like this design, by the way. I know a lot of people don't like the whales that just have stuff on their backs. I, I like him. I think he might look even better without the snow stuff on, though. Just give him, just make him a stuffed toy instead. But whatever. Um... Level 4,500 Santa's house, buy five stuffed toy beluga, own 350 total fish in the Christmas tank, you'll have way more than that, I think, um, by the time you get to this point anyway. You'll have a lot. And, the big boy, <laughs> giant toy hermit crab, looks so different. Um, it's so weird, but I like how different it is, it's really creative. They, they don't usually go all out. Um, I do think some of the designs have gotten a bit better lately in terms of just fish just wearing costumes But they're still just fish wearing costumes, and I I'm not a big fan of that I like the ones that are like really out there like the the Nyx jellyfish I, any of the jellyfish really um, But the giant toy hermit crab it's the it's the capstone thing you complete all of the quests and you own all of the above Christmas fish you just have to unlock everything the same as there's always one like this in every event now So that's how that works so, on to the event quest. Scroll up a little bit. So I can't do these yet because I don't have the rider killer whale. I'm almost kind of sort of there. <laughs> if you recall, I actually did a live stream and then I, I didn't realize I was out. I needed to do all of that. I was like, oh, I guess I can't play this. Ugh, but that was a shame. Um, so to unlock, you unlock some extra cosmetics by doing the plan of Rudolph Hermit Crab. Uh, you just need to buy one toy tang, picture of the toy isopod, buy 15 box fish in general in the uh, tank, and buy 60,000 total building levels, which I believe you will already pretty much have at this point. Um, quick delivery, collect 10 AX vitality. As you can see, I already have way more than that, and I'm behind on the event thing, so that's not going to be a problem. Um, buy five toy football fish, take a photo of toy seahorse, buy 90,000 total building levels. That unlocks the gingerbread slide, which is another building for you. That They're coral, really, but they're, they're called buildings in this. Help, friends! Um, collect 500 bowel movements of candy. No, it's BM of candy. Um, by level 25 hermit crab skill again several things require that so you just kind of want to get it as high as you can if you care about this event 
And if you don't care about this event, um, maybe save your gems for the next unlock that's like this. Um, buy level 8,300 gingerbread slide, 5 wood shark. Again, like I said, upgrade everything, buy 5 of everything, you're done. <laughs> you really are done. That's, that's really what you do. Uh, Christmas gift, this is half of the unlock for the giant toy hermit crab. Uh, collect 10 CG vitality. Um, own 64 types of Christmas event tank fish. That's probably going to be basically everything you can get to before this point. Buy three assortment gift swale and 1,500 total building levels. Um, now, people mess this up every year and they like. I had a guy send like a 10 paragraph email to me begging me for like reality to not be real um, about this, but. The way this game tracks is like basically always the least optimal way. Um, if you haven't unlocked a step, it almost never tracks your progress until that point. So um, you actually, if you buy a bunch of gift swale first, you're gonna have to buy them again after you get that step, almost certainly. That's just usually how it works. Uh, it doesn't matter too much in the tanks, in the tank events, because all of the costs are the same. It doesn't matter if it's a whale or whatever, um, but just keep that in mind. It's not really an issue in this particular event, just because it's a tank event, but when it's a uh, saltwater event, then it's going to be relevant. Um, so yeah, that is the Murky Crimbus event, 2019. Um, I do think this is better. It's gotten better, but it's still... They didn't go back and fix the prior unlocks, so I mean, if you're a new player, this is still going to suck. Like an oceanic quantity of butt. It's it's going to be bad. It's going to be it's going to be really unpleasant. And like I said, this this the original version of this event is genuinely why I stopped upgrading or I stopped collecting all of the fish. Um, if you already suffered through last year, it's going to be a breeze other than the gem cost. That's kind of the problem with this game. It has so many problems that even if they remove half of the problems, it's still nearly insufferable, frankly. Um, they removed almost every problem with the last year, but it still has so many gems. Even if I had completed it, I would still be upset about that. I wouldn't be nearly as upset as I was last year, but man. Um, I really hope Abyssrium Pole, when it comes out, I really hope it's a fresh start. When this game came out, it was amazing. Uh, I think a lot of new players don't really appreciate that when this game came out, um, you really just, you needed to watch ads just to recharge your skills. Um, but that was like only, that, that's just to keep it, you know, that's just to recharge them faster. Like, you didn't need to watch ads for anything, really. Um, you were a little limited on how many gems you could get, but you didn't really need a lot of gems, and gems only increased your production volume. Um, the first events that came out, um, they were so insanely much more manageable. And the worst things that this game tends to do anymore is when it's like, hey, we don't want players to complete events, so we're gonna make these unlocks that's basically wait three weeks. And it's like, oh, fun. Because honestly, the the best thing, the most enjoyable thing in this game for me, it was like hunting for the unlocks. That's why I made the guides. That's why I was, you know, that's the only reason I ever talked to another person playing this game. It was like, oh, I need to figure this crap out. And I really like that. I like that it kind of turns a single player experience into kind of a community thing where you like figure out the game's mysteries and stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Um, and over time, the game is just more about watching ads, more about they want you to log in every day, like every mobile game. Um, they want you to um, not complete events. I hope that since Cheetah Mobile is dead, I mean, they're not dead, but they sold the game. But Cheetah Mobile is no longer responsible for the base game. Um, I hope Flaro Games realizes that's a terrible business model, and like, interest in this game has really flagged down. Um, I have not gotten nearly the traffic that I used to for this game, and I really do assume that correlates fairly directly to interest in the game, because the guide is still as necessary as ever. Um, not so much for this event, but like I said, this is the first event that really genuinely feels different. Except for the part where you still need to complete 2018, so... Like I said, it's not really that much better, but compared to the Greek event, the Greek event had several things that were like, hey, you're going to need to collect sea urchins for like 
a week. Checking in every hour. You're gonna need to check in for a week. It's like, oh. Oh. And I got so many questions, oh my god. Every time this game has a bad unlock, people like flip out and think their game is broken. It's like, no. This is just what it is. The game the game is broken, but that's that is the game. Like, no, it's supposed to be that way. It's it's supposed to be that way. It's like one of those fly ice cubes, like, oh oh, take this back. It's like, no, no, it was it was already like that, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, Abyssrium Pole, really hoping for a fresh start. Really hoping no events for a while, too, honestly. Like, events are the only thing to do in this game now. Um, but if you started this game from scratch and didn't play any events, it's really not that bad. Right? Um, Freshwater got kind of bad. But I mean, you could have genuine fun for a while. And I mean, I think that's why most of us play it or played it or whatever. The, um, the basic stuff was good. The events started alright. Halloween was great. Um, back when Song of the Moon worked for events. Remember that? That was such BS. And they really did specifically say on Facebook, they're like, people completing events too fast. So they, not only, they didn't add like one thing to slow events down, they added like 20 things. And just made events worse than a chore, like a labor, like a Herculean labor. Like, you killed your wife and you're gonna, you're gonna play this goddamn game. That is your penance, that is your hell. <laughs> That's, that, that is what you're gonna suffer through. It's like, oh, oh, but I've got, I've got Mega Man right here on my desk. I could be playing Mega Man. <laughs> so, I usually just play Mega Man instead. <laughs> That's kind of what I recommend. But hey, maybe Abyssal and Pole will be different. May Crimbus, everyone. Um, check out my Patreon if my guides help you out. Or if you want to send a Crimbus gift. PayPal also accepted. Um, or just make sure to, you know, do the YouTube thing. Like and subscribe and hit the bell. Since we got to talk about the bell now. I love the bell. The bell is definitely not the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. No. <laughs> anyway. Peace on Earth and goodwill towards fish, everyone.